Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're going to be solving this interesting radical expression from Harvard MIT Math Tournament, so stay tuned. Okay guys, welcome back. So this is a pretty interesting algebra question from Harvard MIT Math Tournament. So the question is, compute the smallest positive integer n for which square root of 100 plus square root of n plus square root of 100 minus square root of n is also an integer. So we have a bunch of the radicals, right? Square root, square root, square root, square root. So just to make it a little easier to work with, since the question already said this whole expression is an integer, that means if you square that, then that has to be an integer too. So what I'm going to do is I'll be squaring this expression first, right? Okay, so if you square this expression of now 100, square root of 100 plus square root of the n plus square root of 100 minus square root of the n. Okay, if you square this, it should be then equal to, first of all, 100 plus square root of the n, now plus 100 minus square root of the n. And then plus 2 times square root of the multiplication of those two, right? So we have 100 plus square root of the n times 100 minus square root of the n. This is what we have. Okay, so first of all, we can cancel those two square root of the n out, right? And then 100 plus 100 is equal to 200. So we have now 200 plus 2 times Square root of 100 plus square root of the n times 100 minus square root of the n. This is going to be square of the 100 is 10,000. And then minus just the n. This is what we have instead of your square root. Okay. Okay, this is what we have so far. But then again, we are looking for positive integer for the n that will make this an integer too. So that's why hypothetically, let's plug it in 0 to the n and possibly make an inequality as a strict inequality, right? So if you plug it in 0 to the n, then we will have now 200 plus 2 times square root of only this 10,000. Okay, so this is just equal to 200 plus 2 times now 100, which is going to be then equal to 400. 400 is a perfect square, which is... 20 square. Okay, so that is why this whole expression, 200 plus 2 times square root of 10,000 minus n, should be at least less than this 20 square, right? Okay. So 200 plus 2 square root of 10,000 minus n. This has to be at least less than 20 squared. But then again, let's take a look at this expression a little bit more, right? 200 is an even number. And 2 times of some integer is an even number too. Even number plus even number is an even number. So that's why this whole expression has to be an even number. At the same time, we are looking for positive value of the n that will make this an integer too. So that's why next to smaller number, from this 20 square has to be 19 square, right? So we can possibly think about this 19 square, but then again, if you square this, then it has to be an odd number. At the same time, we have this 200 plus 2 times square root of 10,000 minus n is an even number, so that's why 19 square should not be considered, right? So that's why the next smaller number that we can consider has to be then 18 square, that is an even number. So that's why we can say this 200 plus 2 square root of 10,000 minus n has to be now then 18 square. Okay. 18 square is equal to 324. Right. So that's why we can make an equation as now. Um, 124 is equal to 2 square root of 10,000 minus n. Okay. So that's why the square root of 10,000 minus n has to be equal to now 62. Okay. 
Now, if you square the left and right hand side, right? If you square the left and right hand side, then we have just a 10,000 minus n is equal to 62 squared has to be 3844. That is why the answer for this question is 10,000 minus 3844, that has to be just equal to 61. 56. So that's why 6,156 is the answer for this question, right? Okay, so like I said, pretty interesting algebra question from Harvard MIT math tournament. So I'll be back with more videos for more questions like this sometime soon.